Once the fueling point has been taken out of service, inspect the fueling point for signs of damage. This includes inspecting the dispenser, fuel hoses, swivel, and nozzle for signs of possible damage from the drive-off. Replace damaged equipment as necessary. If no damage is detected, relieve the pressure on the dispenser half of the safety brake by pushing in the check valve with the safety brake drain cup. Slide the scuff guard back and inspect the male portion of the safety brake for damage. Replace the safety brake if damaged. Using the drain cup, relieve the pressure on the long hose side of the safety brake. Ensure that the male half is dry before reconnecting. If moisture is present, wash the male half in gasoline or spray with WD-40 to displace any moisture. Prior to reconnecting, lubricate the inner and outer O-rings on the male side with light motor oil or WD-40. To reconnect, align the hexes of the male to the black sleeve and push the two halves of the safety brake together. A slight click will be heard. Slide the scuff guard back into position. Test the nozzle function before opening the fueling point for customer use. Be sure to inspect all connections for leaks as part of this testing.